This is the village seal for Whitesboro, New York. Some people find it offensive, while others insist it's just an historically accurate depiction of a white man wrestling a Native American into submission. Last night, Whitesboro voted on whether or not they wanted to change their seal, which is the latest in a long line of offensive symbols being upheld by history. Of course, honoring history continues to give us such gems as the Washington Redskins, the Confederate flag, and who can forget everyone's favorite Dutch Christmas character, Black Peter. But unfortunately, sometimes our love of history overshadows our love of common sense. I am always amazed at his quiet dignity right before he's killed by a cannonball. In the case of Whitesboro, a village located in White's town, the seal has remained for 129 years because it represents an important moment in the town's history. Officials say the image depicts the founder of Whitesboro, Hugh White, in a friendly wrestling match, as they call it, with a local Native American. <laughs> oh, it's a friendly wrestling match. Now it's okay. Whitesboro officials say the seal was actually changed in the 70s after a complaint was filed. In order to make it less offensive, they moved White's hands from the chief's throat to the chief's shoulders. Look, if we're making tweaks, we'd have to go way bigger. Like, instead of strangling him, maybe he's saving him from falling off a cliff into an ocean infested with sharks. The mayor said, but let the residents have the say about what seal they want to represent them in their home and their history. Well, their opinion is what matters. It's up to the people of Whitesboro. And the people of Whitesboro are 94% white. In fact, there are only five Native American residents in Whitesboro. You can count them all on one hand, which, according to their seal, isn't even enough hands to wrestle a Native American to the ground. Every time these incidents come up, defenders nitpick details to justify the historical context of the symbol. For some other people who see it in a historical context... What's the historical context? It represents bravery. Oh, get out of town. But when it comes to flags, mascots, and seals, the only context we have is the image itself. And if the image of your town's proudest moment involves a white founder wrestling a Native American to the ground, maybe it's time to find your new proudest moment. This is your mic check. <laughs>